Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review. Today, we'll be taking a look at Studio Series 86 movie line. This is Ironhide, but Prime. Yeah, I know everybody says that. <laughs> but there you go. Nice artwork right there. It says Transformers. Transformers, the movie up there. It's on the side. I got him screaming again. Studio Series. He is a Voyager class. On the back, it takes 26 steps. Awesome if you want to read all that good stuff. Pause for the calls and all that right there. If you want to read it, pause for the calls. All right, same thing back there. Very nice on that side. All right, let's take a quick look at what he comes with. Oh, also want a big uh, thank you to Extra Zero. Uh, my buddy, he uh, found this guy for me in Target and he sent it to me and I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. All right, on with the review. All right, things, uh, two things he comes with is his blasters and they are nicely painted silver. So let me get that. Over black plastic. You got some scope work in there as well. You get two of those. And just like most studio series, you get this little activity scene. Um, this is uh, the space shuttle where he dies, which is kind of kind of weird. Uh, on the core class ratchet, they also gave him the you know the uh, you know the uh, spaceship as well, the shuttle. Uh, so it's kind of a uh, yeah weird. But you can display them if you want to. If you have enough room, awesome. But I don't. So, but pretty cool. Nice little artwork in there. So that is what he comes with. All right, here is the man of the hour. Here is Ironhide in his alt mode. And it's kind of just meh for me, to be honest. i um, going to point out the negatives. The eyesores, you can already tell these right here. The hinges, they're pretty big. Uh, up here, man, I cannot, for the life of me, get that to stay together. So there's a little gapage right there. And it takes forever to try to get this these two tabs in here. Uh, try to into you know get into here and it just won't work it is it's supposed to tab in right here but as you can see as you can see it's really you know sticking out a little bit but you know how much force i put in there it just will not tab in there so that kind of sucks and another thing is there's three different red you know three different color reds on here so you got this kind of red right here this is painted right here over the uh, translucent blue everything so that's a dark red then you got another red right here it's kind of a darker red then you got a pinkish red right here so there's like three different color reds on here and it's just weird i mean it just i don't know anyways here is the silver you know the front you got the silver nice autobot symbol i have a scratch on mine right there too as well you do got the windshield wipers this is all painted red nicely uh, painted silver but like i said i do have a scratch on mine um, then you got the blue windows and you got the L2, L2 over here. Then you got the R2 or R2, R2 R1 over there. Kind of weird there. Uh, love the tires. I didn't do the, they didn't do the, they did not do the mushroom thing. So that's good. So they painted those. Uh, you got this translucent blue for the windows. You can see inside all that and everything right there. Then you got the nice silver back here. Kind of wish they would have put, you know, maybe silver or blue right there too. But and this tab, this will come untab quite a bit as well if you're moving anything. So just be wary of that. Uh, it rolls just fine. And you got underneath if you like that kind of thing. So that's you know, pretty cool. Yeah, overall, not really impressed with the uh, vehicle mode. You can store the weapons if you just, there's a little tab right here. I guess there, when Ratchet's going to be made, that's going to be the uh, bar, you know, the vehicle bar, whatever, the uh, light bar. Uh, but you can tab in the guns you can carry them you know store them there like that's pretty cool so uh, you have that option but yeah it just you know the, the these right here are eyesores and you got three different red you know reds on the uh band so eh, you know it's 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 fine i guess but there you go all right a little comparison with the siege uh iron hide the only iron hide i have i have out right now other than this one uh now so just do a little comparison with him there's the front that little 
gap. I cannot fix that gap right there. And you got the sides right here in the back. I do got the add-on kit, uh, the upgrade kit that will fill in the gaps and everything. So, but yeah, there you go. Just a little comparison with the Siege Ironhide. And there's Siege Red Alert. I got Crankcase out here as well from Legacy. Magic Square uh, Prowl and Wheelie for some scale. All right, back from transformation. Here is Studio Series Ironhide from the A6 movie. And there's the head sculpt. Head sculpt looks pretty good. I like it. Nice silver like that. Nice, beautiful blue eyes right there. Looks really good. As far as articulation, you look down quite a bit. Up a little bit as well. Side to side, all the way around. And a little attitude as well. It's so very nice. Like I said, you got the nice blue chest. Uh, red paint right here. Once again, I do got some chipping right there and right there. So that is not cool. Anyways, moving on to the arms. Uh, the shoulder pads, I think they are painted. I think they are. They look, they look nice sheen to them, so that's really nice. Um, you can go up to there. I love that. I love when they do that. It looks pretty cool. Kind of fills that out. Go all the way around. You do have a about a 90 degrees for the elbow bend. And you do got a bicep swivel. So Very nice. You can see the mushroom peg. Uh, the hand is painted as well. But you got a swivel right there. And you got some nice silver paint. You've seen all that, you know, for the vehicle mode. Uh, move on down. You do have a nice waist swivel. Uh, no ab crunch. You got the, uh, move these out of the way. Van Dam all day, every day. You got one flap, which I do not like. I wish they could have cut that and make it three pieces. So go up to there. Go back. You do have a thigh swivel. You do got some uh, waffle. Somebody will f get some waffle kit to get that out. All right, 90 degrees right there for the knee bend. You got a nice toe tilt up and down. And you got a nice rocker too as well. Uh, these will come untabbed. They're supposed to tab in right here. They will come untabbed sometimes, so be aware of that. And they got paint on there. I don't like it when, you know, with Masterpiece, they've done that, you know, with the Moon Studios, the train bots, they did that. You don't mess around with those a whole lot, but you know, with Chuck stuff, you know, you can, you know, transform them back and forth or anything. So kind of wish they didn't do that. You know, that's going to scratch up sometime maybe. So don't like that. But here's the back. Pretty clean. Not a huge backpack at all. And you got this, like I said, you got different reds throughout. Uh, you can also tab in the weapons. There's a little tab right there and there's a little slot right here. You can do that. Well... If it will stay, it will that'd be cool. All right. I just noticed on one of my guns, too, that it, it's 
the paint is kind of, if you can see that, you can see where the paint just stopped. So it's kind of a little darker. So the black plastic is seeping through. So that is not cool. But if you do that, you can tab these guns in. Now you can't tab them in. My goodness. Come on now. So just tab those in and you can carry them like that, which is pretty cool. That's a nice little option if you don't want to carry them in your hands. And here he is carrying hold of them right there and right there. So very nice. All right. Well, there you go. And real quick, here he is next to the Siege Ironhide. Like I said, unfortunately, I do not have the Earthrise one. It'd be a little better comparison because they're kind of almost the same. A uh, little but you know, it's the only one I have. So there you go. There's the different head sculpts, chest and everything. And then that right there. And I still love that hammer. One of my favorite weapons. And there you go. Like I said, I do got the gap fillers in there. So, and there is that. So yeah, a little comparison with one of the iron hides I have out. Uh, Siege and Studio Series. All right, there he's next to Optimus Prime. You got Tiss McGee over there, Retgar. You got Sideswipe, Burnout. And you got uh, Core Class Optimus Prime. Another thing that bothers me is they're calling this a Voyager. These two are Voyagers back there. Come on now. Come on now. And Crappagon, it's crappy toilet paper, car mix, AAA battery, some Care Bears, kicker, and squeaks for more scale. All right, final thoughts on Studio Series 86 movie line. This is Ironhide. This one's kind of a miss for me. I was really looking forward to this guy, but, I, you know, it's not it's not that great. You know, I'm really, you know, disappointed. The alt mode, you know, it's got some eyesores, you know, those hinges out there. You know, you know, everybody saw that anyways. Um, but, yeah, those hinges are really an eyesore. And the three different red, you know, you got the dark red that is painted. You got another lighter red. Then you got like a pinkish red. So you got that. Um, the man, you know, then you got that gap up top where, you know, it, it just won't go together. Uh, the tabs would not tab in right. And it just, yeah. And I got scratches right here and right here, you know, it, it could have got, you know, damaged, you know, since it doesn't have a cover, you know, for the, uh, the, for the box. So, you know, that's scratched up and that's bad. So, you know, yeah, that kind of sucks right there. Um, transformation is fun. You know, it's, it's cool transformation. I like that. Bot mode looks fine. I love the head sculpt. looks good. I love the paint and the blue eyes. It looks really good. You know, the paint, it's fine. Not a whole lot. You know, you got the red right here. The weapons are painted, but one of mine is kind of missed a spot, you know, and it just, it looks like the, you know, the black uh, plastic is seeping through. So, you know, it is, but uh, paint wise, not a whole lot of paint. I hate that they did, you know, they painted this under here because when you're going to, if you're messing around with it, you might scratch that up. So, uh, this is the eyesore. These little things right here, you know, they're just sticking out like that. You can tab his legs together. I wish they would have cut this, you know, give him three instead of this one flap. I don't like that. Um, articulations fine across the board. You know, it's the same just like for legacy and siege and everything. So yeah, pretty decent for there. Um, materials feel fine you know i didn't think i was gonna break anything i do love that i like how they you know gave him a little armpit thing right there that's pretty cool but overall i mean i'm just you know i don't know it, it's not the greatest you know i I, I was really looking forward to this i thought it's gonna be a great iron hide 
but just you know it's got some eyesores to it so you know it it's fine you know if you want to get it's a pretty good iron hide um you know but the bot the alt mode is not is not doing it for me and the bot mode is just kind of i don't know this is kind of this comes undone real easy too as well some of the tolerances are kind of weird you do got the under there so i don't know i just you know it's not the greatest it's not the great you know it's not you know it's not that great it's not that good it just you know it's just kind of meh so you know but if you like it hey you win that's all that matters all right well i hope you like my review sorry it wasn't a positive one but sometimes you know sometimes it's just not all positive pew 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 well hit me up some likes shares prayers and care bears go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind and yeah see how the gaps right there it just i don't like that um yeah hit me up some comments you know and all that you know good stuff i love reading your comments uh, and i guess i'll see you on the next transfer review and as always be good to yourself man hell freaking transformers and hell ironhide and good night folks all right i wish you'd like me a little more golly it ain't my fault hasbro made me this way <laughs> all right i love y'all like step cousins roll tide roll freaking tide yeah america <laughs>